Here's a Redmi Note 11. I'm going to show you how to transfer files such as photos and videos directly from your Redmi Note 11 to any Chromebook using the charging cable. Okay, and I'm talking about downloading the photos and videos to the hard drive of your Chromebook. Nothing to do with the uh, Google Cloud backup, all right? So first thing is let me go ahead and plug in my charging cable here to the USB. And then let me grab my phone here. And I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. Now I'm going to go ahead and log in. So let me log in. And as soon as you log in, we should get this that pops up here on the phone. And you can see by default it's on uh, no data transfer. What we want to do is tap file transfer slash Android auto. Okay. The thing is if this window doesn't pop up, just go to your uh, notifications. You want to slide down the middle like that. And then you see right here, it says charging this device via USB, tap for more options. So we're going to go ahead and tap that. And then this window here comes up again. So I'm, now I'm going to tap on file transfer slash Android auto. I'm going to tap on that. Now I'm simply going to go ahead and put my phone down. And now if I go to my Chromebook here, what I want to do, open up the, uh, the files so I'm going to go ahead and tap down here and then that's the files right there that I want right there okay so let me go ahead and click on that right there and now this window here pops up now we can see on the left here now I can see my uh, Redmi you can see it says Mi 2S and something here with MTP right there so let me go over here, let me click on that because that is my phone. So let me tap on that. Now you can see all the folders that I have in this phone. Now all your photos and videos that you take in with the phone is under the DCIM folder. So I'm going to double click on DCIM. And then I'm going to double click on my camera. And I don't have that many photos or videos on here, but you can see I have some videos on here. You know they're vid, if it has a vid in the first of the file, the file name it says vid or if it says mp4 for a video file I know that they're uh, JPEGs if you can see an image file IMG here or JPG a JPEG file extension on the end okay so from here now take note that this is not a Windows computer okay so it's not like I can go ahead and drag and drop this video into the desktop if I drag and drop it here and I let go it's gonna wing back down okay so this is what I have to do to save it onto the hard drive now, if you look on the left here, you can see uh, my files, okay? Everything in my files is on your hard drive of your Chromebook, okay? Uh, even all this download folder, everything on there is downloaded to the hard drive of your Chromebook. So what I'm going to do is go to my files. I'm going to highlight that, and I'm going to create a new folder, okay? So I'm going to create a new folder here, and I'm just going to call this one, uh, we'll just do readme, okay? Now what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to go back down here under the DCIM folder and then I'm going to go back to camera here and now I can drag and drop whichever I want into that new folder called Redmi. Okay, what I typically do is I'll just highlight all of them. I'll highlight all of them and then I'm going to drag and drop into that new folder Redmi. I'm going to let go and give it, give it a little bit to transfer here. Okay just about done okay there we go okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect my phone and now you can see that folder right here called the Redmi right there and voila there's all my photos and videos okay pretty simple any questions or issues comment below good luck guys